Um, what are some some things you guys can do to make sure you kind of maintain leads toward the end of the third and, and the fourth quarter as well? I mean, um, a lot of the things, obviously, I mean, really just comes, to, comes down to what's locking in. Um, for some reason, you know, four quarters have eluded us. And uh, like I said, we just got to do a better job of locking in mentally. You can't let the small mistakes beat us at the end of the game. Um, and that's really it. God, we did all that work to lose like that can't happen. What do you think as as far as small mistakes? Do you think it, it's kind of like miscommunications or just, you know, what do you think those biggest things are that you guys can work on? Yeah, I mean, this makes everything uh, miscommunications, boxing out, uh, not understanding, understanding certain assignments. I mean, all that goes into uh, into, into those, you know, those small mistakes and into the loss because uh, I feel like we did enough to win. Um, got a lead and can take care of it. Excuse me, sweat. Get my shower. Kelly. Sorry, I wasn't. I forgot I still had my hand up. John, um, where do you, where do you start? Do you feel like tomorrow, as far as um, you know, a couple of games in a row now? I know this has to be. I can hear in your voice how frustrating it is. Um, but building on closing out games. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's tough. It's tough because we, we do we do a good job of playing a good three quarters in, in a sense, and then the fourth quarter is where it gets jumbled. So, I mean, uh, like like I said before, going back, watching film, and uh, just trying to look at what we can do um, or what we should not do in, in, in late game situations to try to preserve that lead. Because like I said, there's no way uh, we, we get two leads when we give them up like that to two teams that I think that were much, much better than. Um, you got to give credit to the work credit to do though, so. Let's talk about a couple positives, if, if you will. I mean, another big night from DeAndre Hunter and Clint Capella as well. It, those two guys just continue to evolve, it feels like. Um, what can you say about their play? Yeah, we're going to need those guys uh, to play well, to be successful as we do with everybody. So I'm glad to see them coming along. I'm glad to see Clint and Dre uh, taking those next steps. Um, we're going to need them. Two more. Uh, first from Chris Kirchner. Um, after the Brooklyn win, obviously your your confidence was sky high. And after you know blowing 15-point leads in back-to-back -back games, I'm curious, how are you feeling about just the situation now? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I know we have a, a lot of potential and a lot of work to do. But uh, right now, I'm just pissed. You know I mean? I feel like we lost two games we shouldn't have lost. Um, and the competitor in me wants to just do anything to to take those back to get to get back to that moment where we had both of those leads and do everything we can to keep it. So uh, back to the lab. Finally, from Jamila Johnson. Hey, John, how are you? Good, man. How are you? I'm good. Um, so I wanted to ask. I know I don't know if it's because you guys don't have any fans in the arena or what or we can hear, just hear better but you've been very vocal out on the floor and I don't know if that's something that you were doing last year if that's something you're trying to do more this year trying to be that more vocal leader you're calling out ISOs you're calling out different defensive plays so is that just something one of your goals that you have for this year uh yeah I mean it's definitely been one of my goals I, I would say throughout my entire career you know being a big man being the back line I, I see everything so excuse me, I see everything so it's uh it's my duty to uh to call out everything, to, to see, to, to be the guard's eyes. And uh, I feel like that's just part of my growth and development. So I'm going to continue to be loud. Thank you, Jason.